Hello everyone, me again. And first things first, I look kind of I look kind of garbage today, but I had to film because got my proof copy of Stone Soul and I wanted to open it on camera, I guess. I don't know. Seemed seemed like a fun thing to do. My cat's in here with me, so he'll probably want out, you know, any minute because my boyfriend is napping in the other room, so I had to shut the door to be quiet, you know because I'm considerate. But before I open this, I did want to say, in my last video, I mentioned a new story idea for NaNoWriMo that I wanted to do, and I still like the idea, but I was doing some plotting and basically just info dumping, you know, what's the word, brainstorming, and I came up with like four pages of stuff, and I just realized that this story is going to be super huge. It is too ambitious for a NaNoWriMo project for somebody like me who has not succeeded at NaNoWriMo in like 800 years. So I am going to be going back to my failed novel from last November called Heartlines, which is about a werewolf. Well, not just one singular werewolf. There are other werewolves, but my main character is a werewolf. And it's gonna kind of touch on classism because she lives in poverty and so the human side of her deals with classism as well as issues within the werewolf kind of community when it comes to the the hierarchy I guess and so it's gonna it's gonna be a little a little bit about like I guess prejudice and I don't know I'm kind of excited to write it because I love the characters I've created and I just have to kind of reboot what I'm doing with it and make it better than it was last year and actually not give up on it this year, which I probably won't because last year the whole reason I g ended up giving up was because I was just so busy with Stoneheart and that sucked. But um, so yeah, and I pulled out last year's journal and I was excited because I still have a ton of paper in it so I can just move, you know, move forward and I still have all my old information to keep me motivated and stuff. I also did end up um, uh, downloading Natalia Lee's Preptober workbook and I printed it out at work and I put it in this binder. I put them in little plastic sheets because I'm not actually going to write on them. I'm going to go through it and basically take the information that's relevant to me and my my planning and just put it in here and yeah I'm excited to do that. I haven't actually started yet. I've kind of just been taking taking some time off, i.e. I got addicted to Skyrim again, so I kind of haven't been doing anything. I do plan to start prepping and maybe do at least one Preptober like video showing you guys and talking about it and all that fun stuff. But yeah, so writing update out of the way, let's get into my unboxing. I'm always so nervous and I don't know why because it's like I have this fear of being disappointed and it sounds really silly, but I just, I can't help it. I'm always afraid when it's, oh, I'm so afraid to pull it out. I'm always afraid, like when I commission artwork, I'm so scared to look at it because I'm scared I'm gonna be disappointed. And then I have to admit not just to myself that I'm disappointed, but to, you know, another person that I'm just, I don't know, it's, I'm always, when it's something to do with my stuff, like this is my writing, you know, and this is basically my creation. I'm, I'm so worried I'm gonna be disappointed. Ugh. Okay. Alright. Okay, no. I'm not disappointed at all. Let me just make sure that it all lines up. It does. And because I'm going to be doing my cover reveal, kind of right before I post this video, I am now safe to show you. This is the cover of Stone Soul, book two in the Gargoyles of Craven trilogy. And I love my cover because it's moodier than the first one. And my cover artist, she included everything that I wanted and I'm so excited. And listen to that, amazing. Oh my god, it's perfect. It's perfect. I want to compare it to the original. So this is the original proof. This isn't like, this wasn't the final, final paperback, but I held on to the proof just for the memories, I guess. So just, you know, put them side by side. Oh my god, I love it. And 
just for, I guess, reference. Hold on, what am I doing? Let me put stone heart on top. It's the first one. <laughs> stone soul is definitely a little bit thicker. The first one, the first proof at least, was 311 pages. And the proof of this one is 440 pages. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Just getting to look at it. And I kind of was able to make the font bigger inside. I wish I had done that for this one, but that is a problem with the size of the cover and the number of pages because I'm stupid and... You know, I made a lot of mistakes when publishing Stoneheart, but I'm rectifying those with Stone Soul and... Oh my god. I'm just trying to find, um... So I mentioned I do all my formatting with Vellum, that software that unfortunately is only for Mac users, but the formatting is pretty perfect and you can choose, you know, where you want to put your page numbers, where you want to put like the title and author at the top of the page and everything. But one thing I really love also is that you can make, you can use like an image as kind of a paragraph break. And that, like the, uh, the Dara knot has a lot of meaning to my characters. And so it's also something I have on the cover right there. And on this cover as well, where is it? over here and so I just drew I drew up a little tiny one in a like paint or something whatever's on Mac <laughs> and I'm just so excited that you have the ability to do that in these books it's it's awesome sorry in these books in vellum is what I meant I don't know I'm just I'm so excited it looks they look so good put them next to each other this one is a little darker because I told my cover artist you know this book starts to get a little moodier, I guess you can say, so I wanted that to be reflected, but, you know, still really cool. I was able to use the same, um, the same, like, model in the stock images that I found, and I'm just, I'm so happy, and I just, I love the font that my cover artist picked for, um, her name is Olivia. I know I keep saying my cover artist. Her name is Olivia. She goes by Olivia Pro Design. I found her on Fiverr, actually. And she is super, super talented and pretty much willing to do whatever you want. So, definitely, if you are looking for cover art, she does ebooks and um, paperbacks. Sorry. She does not do hardcovers. And obviously, if you only wanted like an ebook cover from her, it would be a lot cheaper and the, pa the price of the package goes up if you want paperback as well but I, they're well worth it I these are you know I've only ordered two covers from her but I'm super happy with both of them and yeah I'm, I'm so happy oh my god this is like awesome this has made my day it's made my week I feel like I have been working so hard on Stone Soul and finally having having it right here it's awesome so my next step is I'm going to read through this with a highlighter and now I'm just looking for basically glaring mistakes that I might have missed while editing on a screen because obviously looking, looking at it in a book it's going to look different to my eyes for some reason. So I'm going to go through this, make sure that A, you know, spelling and grammar issues are taken care of. B, formatting looks great all throughout, or I haven't, you know, missed maybe like a paragraph break or, you know, something. After that, I'm going to finalize it up, and I will be ready for release date. <laughs> that is super, super exciting. I, I'm happy. I'm so happy right now. So let me uh, pull out my my plan just to keep you all in the loop this weekend i am planning on revealing my synopsis for stone soul and hopefully next week i will be posting a short snippet just to kind of tease y'all and on the 18th is when i plan to make kind of like my giveaway post so if you are interested in when this is out winning a signed copy as well as you know one of these necklaces you know, 
definitely watch out for my giveaway post because I'm really excited to share not just the story but just I don't know, just everything about this. I'm so excited to share this. And I have a tentative release date for the 29th. That could change, but if all things go according to plan, that is my schedule. Definitely wait for the 18th for my giveaway. And yeah, so this is gonna be a short one for me today. I just wanted to film my unboxing. I am so happy, so, so happy. It's so heavy compared to the other one. <laughs> Ugh, it's gonna get hard holding it up. You know, I gotta save all my strength for my like rereads of it that I do. That book is like 1,100 pages. <laughs> okay, I'm done being stupid. I swear. Oh yeah, I forgot. It looks better on the ebook version, and I don't have it in this because I didn't have it at the time that this one was published. It is in the newer ones though. I uh, I got a series logo that is also on my business card, and I was able to put it on the cover page. And you can't really tell in the book because of the way it prints it, the Daranaut is in that feather. So that looks really cool. It looks better, like I said, on the ebook version, but just the fact that I could include it in here. So happy. Okay, I'm really done, done rambling. I'm so happy. Thank you for dealing with me and how crappy I look today with my, you know, and in mirrors and in real life, my hair doesn't bother me, but in, when I'm filming, it really just looks like I'm like Will Byers with a grown out hair hairstyle. I don't know, it's, I like Will Byers, you know, maybe, maybe I should just accept it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget that the first book, Stoneheart, you can get the ebook totally free on Amazon. And if you wanted to get it and, you know, leave me a review on Amazon, possibly on Goodreads, you know, that would be super cool, but you don't have to, you know. So download book one if you're interested because it's totally free and I reduced the price of the paperback to $9.99, which I think is a steal, personally. And definitely keep watching my social medias and I'll make an announcement on YouTube as well for when I announce my giveaway because I can't wait to give these books away. I want people to buy them, but I'm super excited to be doing a giveaway. It just sounds so fun, and these necklaces are so cool, don't you think? So yeah, stay tuned. Uh, October looks like it's gonna be a very exciting month for me, and I'm just really happy that I have a YouTube channel and I can share it with you. So yeah, I know I've said this already, but thank you for watching. And if you liked this video, thumbs up is awesome. But um, I will see you in my next video, hopefully. Don't forget to subscribe if you have any interest at all in my silly rambly vlogs. <laughs> and yeah, thank you for watching.